Greetings gamers, I'm Liz Crane. Welcome to part 4 of our playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 5. The first two episodes were for Ground Zeroes, um, the prologue game. And then uh, part 3 was Chapter Zero or the tutorial for The Phantom Pain. That's really humane to ride horses into this dust storm. I mean, camels are really better the area adapted. Ahead is under total Soviet control. Miller's been captive for ten days. Not much time left. Weather will clear shortly. Storm's passing. Infiltration of the Soviet main ground forces. Should be the perfect one. Is that product placement? Kazuhira Miller is being held in Darwin Dehar to the north. Check its location now. Take out your iDroid. You see Wandy on the map? That's where they're keeping Miller. Only problem is, we don't know his exact location. Finding it is your first priority. Go ahead and close the eye door. Got your binoculars? Or should I say, your int scope? See the village? Straight ahead? To the right. Look up. All right, that's the village. If you see something through the binoculars and you need more information, just give me a call. I'll tell you anything I can about it. That's Vialo Village, the Vialo Calais. The villagers fled the war and evacuated a while back. Since then, it's become a base for the Soviets' 40th Army. A few days ago, Miller was taken through there, en route towards Dewandehar. You may be able to pick up the trail there. It's worth a shot. Put a marker on it so you don't lose track of where it is. Good. Now you won't have to worry about getting lost along the way. You can't have much left in him. I give him three days, Tops. If we fail, and he dies, we lose our chance of revenge. But we need more intel. If you just go charging into Doan Dehar, you'll be putting both your lives at risk. See what you can find out first. The Soviets have other outposts, not just the one you saw. Afghanistan is a big place. I expect you'll become quite familiar with those binoculars as you plan your next move. How and where you make it, well, that's up to you. From here on out, you're on your own. You're a legend in the eyes of those who live on the battlefield. That's why you have to handle this mission yourself. Put those nine years behind you, and return as big boss. That's how Koss would want it. I'll be sending additional intel by radio. Stay sharp. Not one of Miller's bodyguards survived. And they were good. All we found on the scene were their corpses and these. 
They'll be missing them. And you're his only hope of getting them back. I feel like they're trying to convince us to buy those sunglasses. Now go! Let the legend come back to life. see their positions on the map. How would they know I'm an enemy just by looking? Like, I mean, I know they're enemies, but... They don't know that I'd be here, right? I mean, I guess unless they just have general orders to stop anyone who approaches. A lone guard, really? There's no one patrolling? Okay, apparently not. Sight, sound, keep all your enemy senses in mind. When you're near an enemy, stay low and move slowly. Two soldiers, that's a little more responsible. Out of the open. Find some place to drop them out of sight. 
I'm already off to a rocky start. Yeah. Guard post captured. Okay, this is a little different. What do I call a helicopter? Do I not have a helicopter yet? I guess I don't have a helicopter yet. Well, I really am rebuilding my organization from scratch. Well, then that sucks for you, buddy, because uh, if I can't extract you, I can't afford to let you wake up. Wow, that is... That is better graphics, but also way more violent than uh, the previous Metal Gear games. Oh man, are they really going to play that snare drum roll every time I mount the horse? That is pretty extreme. Nope, that's nothing. Yeah. You're almost at the enemy outpost, via low village. The village is crawling with enemy soldiers. Don't just go waltzing in. Start with some recon. Is there anywhere that overlooks the village? You mean like here? that? Is that loot? How about it? Can you see the village from there? Use the binoculars to recon the place. That's a rough diamond. Good find. It'll fetch a high price. What were diamonds just doing on the ground there? That's a type of medicinal plant. Bring it back to base. It's sure to be useful sometime. Look at where the enemies are stationed. Look at their gear. Take it all in. There should be a command post somewhere. See any buildings with tighter security? If there are clues to Miller's whereabouts, I'll bet you can find them in there.
Oh, never mind. Oh. What do you know? I did not think I'd be able to spot that, but apparently I can. Ooh, a mortar. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Wow, that was real fast. Ooh, machine gun post. Ooh, that plant is, uh, shining, which to me means it's lootable. Wormwood? Wormwood, also known as absinthium. That's used to make your phantom cigars. So, so key ingredients and making absinthe, which is quite tasty. Ah. 
How is no one hearing that splashing sound? There's two of them now. Скажи, как прошла та вылазка на душманов? Информация была правильна. Они осели за брошенным кишлаке Баверпрам. Мы видим, у лесик взяли их всех сразу. Все они оказались таджиками. Откуда была информация? От душманов. Чего? Он выдавал себя за жителя кишлака, но на самом деле был хамидом. Хамидом? Это пуштунские боевики. Не базируется вокруг пакистанской границы. Предали своих же? Они себя таковыми не считают. Они братья по религии, не по крови. И это хороший шанс для Хамида. Теперь они могут закрепиться в этой области. В следующий раз они уже будут врагами. Ага, у этих Хамидов хорошее оружие. Благодаря американцам. Нам нужно быть осторожнее. Точно. Береги себя. There we go. More of that good synthesizer music. I don't know why people are always making fun of the 80s. The 80s were great. They had the original Ninja Turtles when they were still Muppet suits instead of really disturbing CG. Generation 1 Transformers and G.I. Joe. Bubblegum Crisis on Run My One Half.
Oh shoot! Well, they're probably gonna notice their buddy's sleeping there. Or not. I guess this guy likes this music too. Ooh, does that mean I get to listen to the music whenever I want? I guess they don't like uh, it when I steal their music. I don't want these guys to wake up the people I've already taken out.
I guess it's sound means penalty. Great, they're going on waking each other up. Should have killed more of them when I had the chance. Picked up an intel file. Extraction. Now we know where Miller is. I'm marking it on your iDroid. The map has been updated. You have 
have arrived at your destination. Oh man, am I lagging? Oh. Turns out I can't do fancy maneuvers when I'm carrying someone, I guess that makes sense. Most of them actually. I wonder if anyone's home. Don't mind if I do. Shoot my horse. Well, I'm pretty sure that they're going to think it's weird that a well trained horse is just prancing through. Oh, not prancing, galloping through.
Tarragon, delicious. What the? Whoa! I did not think you were that nearby. Smart horse. And once again, the obligatory snare drum roll. Yeah. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Wow. They're really gonna play that snare drum roll every time? That's gonna get old real fast. Anytime you need advice, just give me a call. It's up to you whether to slip by enemies or take them down. Just remember that any situation can change fast. Familiarize yourself with your weapons and items while you can. You need to be able to switch between them quickly to meet any threat.
Wait, is my horse a helicopter? Oh, so all those guys who I killed earlier, I could have put them on my horse? Really? That is weird, but delightful. on the back oh shit That's my internet hiccuping. Oh, that's just great. I guess they just... Alright, well at least they didn't hurt my horse. explains why those extra guards showed up. They are not suspicious that the horse just started moving in this direction. Oh. Let's see if I can...
Yeah, my intern has been hiccuping. It'll go off for like 10 seconds every few hours. I don't know what's up with that. I wonder how much this train is procedural and how much is just hand decided. I hope there's actually a sensible way for me to get up there. grab it. I think later on you get like, they call it Fultons, you basically balloon them away. And then I'll have to go back to the stage and use it on that sheep. Because that's exactly what a private military company needs, is a pet sheep. expecting to come that way. Oh, you know, I didn't get a chance to steal the cassette tape from that second guard post.
As long as nobody turns around, everything will be fine. I'm surprised there are no mines here. Do this? And this is why you don't give your observation posts such obvious blind spots. Oh shit. I mean, fudge, whatever. Oh no, don't look at me. Taking this guy out is not going to be as easy as I hoped it would be. No, don't look, don't look, don't look. It's, it's blown. so much for this being a stealth mission.
need to do is I need to get to one of those weapon posts. That was a weapon post, right? Yes. I need to get the weapon post and do this the way I always do it. By abusing a weapon post. I think logically, if they knew that I was just going to mow them all down, they would just execute Miller there, so I couldn't rescue him, right? Looks like the enemy's lost sight of you. They're gonna try to hunt you down. Hunt this down. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Need to be in this reflex mode this entire time. Seriously, you can resume normal speed. This is just gratuitous. Back to uh, this. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Oh, and I died. That is shameful. Hey, quit kidding around. Snake? Yeah, I know. We know where the target is. Head for one day. Well, it looks like I never a chance to stealth this. So, not straight through the middle. That was a mistake.
Oh, shoot. Are those sheep chasing each other? What is going on? Please don't notice me. Let me ditch this body somewhere. You know what? Let me take you out too before you become a nuisance when you come back. You don't see that, right? Oh, jeez, have I, have I, have I been at this for more than an hour already? Yeah, it's a good thing I decided to do this as own episodes instead of rolling right into this from chapter zero. Delicious tarragon. That's tarragon, a type of medicinal plant. It contains trace amounts of a benzodiazepine derivative that's the active ingredient in pentazamine. I wonder how medically accurate that is.
Oh good, two of them are leaving. That makes life easier. I just need this guy to turn around for a second. Nobody saw anything, which is the way it should be. Oh shoot! No! Oh, I've been spotted. He's probably going to find a body pretty soon. Oh, never mind. Come <laughs> on. 
Hold on. Sign me out again. Why does it keep doing that? You so long. We'll talk, but not here. Extraction <laughs> arrived at the motor base. You've secured the target. I'll send the chopper to get you out. Make your way to the RV. You can check the location on your iDroid. Mission info has been updated. They've caught up the search, really? I can't be right. arrived. Okay, well. I just hope they don't shoot him while I'm carrying him. Thereby causing me to, uh, lose again. Sorry, man.
Even when you're carrying a wounded dude. Always the right time to loot. Really not spotted me? Oh well. Guess I'll, guess I'll cross the road. Why did Lil's Crane cross the road? To loot some more. All these random plants makes me feel like I'm playing Skyrim again. Of course, Skyrim involved a lot more leather bikini armor, which I guess Quiet wears in this game. Watch out. It's the skulls. Don't let them find us. Extraction Boss, arrived. Whatever that mist is, it's all around you. We can't see through it. I'm changing the RV so it's outside the mist. Get over there. The chopper will be waiting. Give me a little more power. Give me a I don't get it. Why am I... Why am I stuck here? Seriously. This is something you need to be able to go over. No, really? I, I don't get... I don't understand. really be dead-ended here, can I? I don't... I mean, you followed me here for a reason, right? That's not good.
Wait, am I supposed to be a distraction or something? Can I just call you later? That's Miller. You can't just leave him there. All right. Am I supposed to ride out? Because I'm pretty sure they're gonna like mow me down if I do that. <sighs> I mean, I guess I'm supposed to figure out something's my own, but I mean, a few more hints would be nice. confused. I'm not supposed to go through them, but I can't go over this, so what am I supposed to do? This is starting to frust me like the time I was playing Resident Evil 6 as Ada on a truck fighting chainsaw monster. Is this an is this an automatic death for me? Run, boss! You've got to lose him. Okay, I guess I could have just run straight through them. Whoa, what the deuce? How are they doing that? That is not cool. How how am I, Miller, and the horse not dead? And how did I not just break this poor horse's legs? That's the unit that attacked us before. They came at us real fast in the same kind of mist. I bet survivors from nine years ago were wiped out in minutes. All right, what you want? Put Miller in. No mistake. This is B-Quad. It's an obstruction at the LZ preventing me from landing. 
If by obstruction you mean my horse. Wow, that snare drum again. Wow, they really don't like you, horsey. Okay, I assume the horse returns to base, right? That horse had a balloon this entire time? Because it sent. Oh man. So I totally overthought. Still getting a B rank somehow. I guess I'm not the only one who had no idea what to do. It's cute. Ending credits after each of these chapters. Kind of like a Netflix miniseries. We're headed for the Seychelles. That's where our new home is now. Hey. That was some operation we had, huh? Nine years ago. Carving out our own world. Making our own future. And they took it away. I'm gonna rebuild it. Make a new place. Together. That we can call home. Yeah, we were dogs, all right. Slinking around, out of sight for sight. Digging up whatever kind of dirty money we could find. You name it. We did it. You see this? Diamond dogs. Our new home. The phantom of our former selves. Triumph. Death. Kind of funny how they let you position and zoom in the camera during those scenes. It doesn't seem to actually serve any function other than to give the cinematics a veneer of being a game as opposed to a movie. Oh look, it's a recap of Ground Zeroes. I mean, it's entirely possible that one plays a Phantom Pain having skips Ground Zeroes entirely. Well, even that one voice clip was enough for uh, Tara Strong to get a residual from this, so good for her. Why are we still here? 
just to suffer. Every night, I can feel my leg, and my arm, even my fingers. The body I've lost, the comrades I've lost, won't stop hurting. It's like they're all still there. <laughs> group above nations, even the U.S. And I was the parasite below, feeding off Zero's power. Tell me like you used to. Hmm. Didn't even realize that boss was so codependent. Oh, you know what? I probably should have said like end of. Things have changed, boss. We pull in money, recruits, just to combat Cypher. Rubbing our noses in bloody battlefield dirt. All for revenge. The world calls for wet work, and we answer. No greater good. No just cause. Cypher sent us to hell. But we're going even deeper. I know. I'm already a demon. Heaven's not my kind of place anyway. of war for nine whole years that ends today now you're not sleeping and we're not junkyard hounds we're diamond dogs let them talk Build the army that can do it. Just one thing, Cos. This isn't about the past. We're fighting for the future. Still weird. There's Keeper Sutherland instead of David Hader. How to run Mother Base. Boss, there's something I want to talk about. Concern and that can wait for next time. So I... So I've been playing this blind, right? I, um... 
I guess I didn't... I don't have a sense yet for when the chapter really ends. Like, that cinematic after the score screen, I guess, was supposed to be the beginning of this chapter and not the end of the previous chapter. But it's kind of just kind of blending into each other. Uh, I'm going to call this probably a bit late, the end of part four of our playthrough um, of Metal Gear Solid V. Uh, we're now on the Phantom Pain. Um, I guess I won't bother saying Phantom Pain versus Ground Zeroes anymore since we know where we're at. Um, and uh, I guess when I start recording next time, I'll have to remember to skip past that opening cinematic and get to this part. Uh, anyway, if you liked this video, please remember to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. I'm Lotus Crane, signing off.